Hello everyone, welcome to another Taylor's Tech Talks Tutorial Tuesday. We're going to be doing some Python on Windows. If you've never seen Taylor's Tech Talks before, let me quick introduce myself. My name is Taylor Arndt. I am a freelance web developer, WordPress professional, and accessibility specialist. I've been in the industry three years helping clients like governments, nonprofits, small, medium, and large businesses to become more inclusive, more accessible, and get online for the first time with their website and marketing. In today's tutorial, we're going to be doing a programming tutorial, and I'm going to show you how you get your development environment set up on Windows using Visual Studio Code and Python. I'm super excited. I have to do this myself, so I might as well show the process. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to probably do a Mac tutorial at some point as well, but let's just go ahead and talk about Windows for now. I'm going to go ahead and go to my Windows, and of course, I'm using NVDA on Windows 10. We're going to go ahead and open up our favorite browser. I love Chrome, so I'm going to open up Chrome. And I'm going to go to python.org. So I'm going to go to my address bar, and I'm going to type in python.org. I'm going to find downloads, and it will automatically detect what operating system you're using. So I just went to python.org, downloads, and then it will auto-detect what operating system I'm using. And I just press H for headings to get there. And so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press enter on Windows. So Python is currently done downloading. Our next step is we need to install it. I'm going to close my Chrome window. I'm going to go to my downloads. Downloads text unavailable. Downloads window. Items view. Items view. Python dash 3.9.7. Window right. dialog. Downloads window. Press enter. Unknown. Python 3.9.7 left parent. 64 dash bit right parent. Setup. Select upgrade now. The keep your current settings comma or choose customize to enable or disable features. Dot. Upgrade now button. See. Hold and backslash. Customize installation button. Choose location and features. Alt plus two. Oh, I guess did I already have Python Run on dialog. here? Cm. Let me see. M. Full review list. C. Colon. D. Y. H. O. N. Microsoft Store. Microsoft mm. Store window. Okay. Mainland CC colon backslash Windows backslash system 30 E X I E Microsoft Store Microsoft Store So what I'm gonna do? You may get this. Select upgrade now. Cancel button. Alt plus C. Select upgrade now to keep your current upgrade now button. Customize installation button. Choose location. I'm gonna customize installation. You may get this pop up. You just have to say customize. You could do an upgrade, but I'm on Windows 365, so it doesn't really you know matter. I'm just gonna say customize installation. And then pip checkbox, documentation checkbox, check out plus D. Pip checkbox, check out plus D. I want pip, make sure that's checked. TCL slash TK and idle checkbox, check out plus I. Python test suite checkbox, check out plus D. Pi launcher checkbox, not check out I really don't need idle. Python TCL slash TK and idle checkbox, check out plus I. But I'm going to keep it just in case. Next button, alt plus N, unavailable. Um, hold up. Microsoft Python 3.9.7 left parent, 64 dash bit right parent, setup. Create shortcuts, add Python to environment variables, checkbox, not check out plus E. Add Python to environment variables. Really important that that gets checked. Basically, what that will do is whenever you go to the command line or the PowerShell and you type in Python, it will bring up a Python interpreter. So make sure that that is checked. Very, very important. Space checked. Precompile standard library, checkbox, check out plus E. Download debugging symbols, checkbox, not check out plus S. Download debug binary, left parent. All Require these are going to be checked. Later, customize install location edits, browse button, alt plus R. Back button, alt plus install button, alt plus I. Install. Cancel button, secure desktop. I'm going to accept the UIC. User. Maybe. Python 3.9.7, left parent, 64, unknown. I've accepted the UIC, and I'm going to wait for Python to install. And when it's done, we're going to see if it works. Uh, I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code and show you how to get set up there. So Python is still installing, so we'll give it a little bit of time. Here are progress beeps, which are good. Uh, if you've never heard those before, the NVDA, it's kind of what happens when you install something. It makes progress beeps based on the percentage. So really helpful there. I love those things.
unknown. Python 3.9.7 left parent, 64 dash bit right parent, setup. Disable path length limit button changes your machine configuration. Right. Allow program close button alt plus C. Python is uninstalling. Microsoft store window button. I'm going to close that. Downloads window. I'm going to now open up my terminal and see if I have Python. Just before I start installing Visual Studio Code extensions, I just want to make sure that my Python's actually working as intended. And I'd recommend that you do the same. So let's go to CMD. I do that by pressing Windows plus R and typing CMD. CMD, folder view list. C colon backslash windows P Y P A O N. Then I type Python. Python 3.9.7 left parent. Tab slash V 3.9.7 colon 1016 of free comma of 30 20 21 comma 20 colon 19 colon 38 right parent. Left bracket MSCV.19 29 64 bit left parent. AMD 64 right parent. Right bracket on win 32. Type quote help quote comma quote copyright quote comma quote credits quote quote license quote for more information dot greater greater greater. And then you're at this interactive Python prompt. I'm going to get out of here by typing quit. Q U I T. Left parent. Right parent. And then I'm going to type exit in the terminal. So I just did quit, left paren, right paren, and then I'm just going to exit this terminal. Exit. Python's installed. Our next step is to get Visual Studio Code set up, right? Because we need our editor. We've got our Python, but we need our editor to be set up as well so that we can take advantage of all the features. So let's open Visual Studio Code, and if you haven't installed it, I've got a whole course on Visual Studio Code that I streamed uh a couple weeks ago that you can find on my YouTube channel and I will put a link in the description. So I'm going to open up Visual Studio. Folder view list. Taylor left parent. Person 1V. VLC media player 9 of 20V. Visual Studio Code 2 of 23. All right. Visual Studio Code. Document. Application. Main landmark. I'm going to go Control Shift X or Command Shift X if you're on the Mac. Search extensions and marketplace editor as auto complete multi line land. I'm going to simply type Python. Python. P -Y -A -N. I'm going to press tab. Five. Extension list. Level 1, Python, comma, 2021.8.1159798656, comma, Microsoft, comma, IntelliSense, left parent, Pilots, right parent, comma, Linton, comma, debugging, left parent. And I'm going to press tab again. Toolbar, install button, install it. Installing extension, Python, start dot. Editor is now open with more details on this extension. Application, extension, colon, Python, dash, visual, studio, code, document, unknown. It's completed. Extension, colon, Python, dash, visual, visual, studio, code, link, HTTPS, colon, slash, all right. visual, studio, code, document. So, it's completed. It didn't tell me it needed to reload itself. So, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to press control N to open up a new file. In this instance, I don't really need a folder as I'm just making one simple file that just says hello world as just a sample, right? So I'm going to press control N. Application, main landmark, untitled dash one editor as auto complete multi line land. I'm going to press control S to save the file. Save as dialog, file land, selection removed. As hello H -E -L -L -O. world. W. And I like to use camel case. Basically, that means that the first letter of the first word is lowercase. All other first letters of the words are uppercase. So hello is lowercase, world is uppercase. Line one, W, land. Oops. O R L D. Dot, dot, and then I always put the extension. You can do it if you go in the file tree, but I just find it a lot easier to just type the extension outright just to make sure that we're clear. So I'm going to do that now by typing dot py because Python files end in py. py. I'm going to make sure that this saves list, in preview, a levels, spot that I want to save. I'm going to go to my document. I'm going to press Alt-S to save. Untitled-1-Visual Studio Code. Untitled-1-Visual Studio Code document. Application. Main landmark. Hello world.py editor as auto-complete multi-line land. Okay. Hello world. 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 Hello Hello world. 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 Hello Hello world. 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 Hello and the print function has one main purpose, and that is to print something to the screen. Whether that's a variable, a thing of text, anything and everything is used for printing. So let's go ahead and print hello world to the screen. So I'm gonna type print. P R. Suggest list, print not selected one of eight. And you'll notice that Visual Studio Code has some awesome IntelliSense, basically where it will suggest suggestions to you. And in order to accept the print suggestion, I'm gonna simply press tab. Hello world. Pi editor as auto complete multi. Blank. I'm gonna do left paren. Left paren. Star values colon object comma hint. And you hear it says star values, so it's saying, you know, kind of as a hint, right? And it actually reads it aloud. So then I'm gonna open up a pair of quotes. Quote. I'm gonna say hello. H e l l o space world. W o r. Oops. R o i. W w o r l d. Perfect. Hello world. I'm gonna say control s again to save it. Print left paren. Quote hello world. Quote right paren. Right blank. Print left, print left parent, blank. Wonderful. We've set it up so that it will say print hello world. Again, we're not going to do any indentation this time because we're just doing a development environment setup. 
I'm going to go ahead and press Control tilde. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. We can run it directly in Visual Studio Code, or we can run it in the terminal of our choosing externally. So let's talk about Visual Studio Code's terminal first by pressing Control tilde. Document, terminal one, edit plan, terminal one, comma, PowerShell, Windows, PowerShell, PSC, colon, backslash, users, backslash, Taylor, Arndt, So I'm in my Taylor Arndt folder, and I need to be at documents. So I'm going to type in CD, CD, space, documents, D -O -C -U -U. PSC, colon, backslash, users, backslash, Taylor, Arndt, CD, dot, backslash, documents, PSC, colon, backslash, users, backslash, Taylor, Arndt, backslash, documents, trailer. And all I did was I typed in doc, and then I tab, because the terminal has auto-completion. Whereby, if you type in part of the path, it will help you complete it, and then CD will allow me to change directories. I'm simply going to type in Python space hello world.py. And the reason that I left the camel case the way that I did for the title is because if you have spaces, you'll have to put quotes around it. So I wanted to make it easy to be able to type it in the terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Python. P -Y -T -A -O -N -N hello. H -E -L -L. I'm going to press tab. PSC colon backslash users backslash Taylor backslash documents trailer python dot backslash hello world dot pi. Enter. Hello world PSC colon backslash users backslash Taylor backslash documents And you notice it hello world. Now what if I want to run it again? I simply press up arrow. Land PSC colon backslash users backslash Taylor backslash documents trailer python dot backslash hello world dot pi. Hello world PSC colon backslash users backslash Taylor Perfect. We've simply ran a hello world application in our Python. And it says hello world. And to dismiss the terminal, I'm going to press control tilde. Main landmark. Hello world dot pi editor has autocomplete multi line land. And you notice you're back to your editor. The next thing I'm going to show you is let's say you want to run it in a command prompt instead of PowerShell. So let me show you that process. It's almost the same as if you were going to run it within Visual Studio Code, but I just want to show you for clarity. I'm going to go ahead and go to my command prompt. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and press Windows plus R. No results found. Whoops. I forgot run to type, type right. Command. Select CMD. Text and overview type list. CMD. C colon backslash users backslash Taylor Arndt creator. Microsoft Windows left bracket. Like the PowerShell, I'm landed in my Taylor Arndt directory. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in CD documents. So CD change directory, and I'm going to change to my documents folder. CD space DOCU documents. And I'm going to use my tab shortcut to not have to type the whole thing out. C colon backslash users backslash Taylor Arndt backslash documents creator. I'm going to simply press Python. So I'm going to do this again. Python. Y T H O N. Space. space. Hello. H E L L. And again, I'm going to use my uh, tab completion here. So I'm going to do tab. Hello world.py. Hello world.py. I'm going to press enter. Hello world. C colon backslash users backslash Taylor on backslash documents trailer. And again, if I want to run it again, I press up arrow to see the terminal history. Let me do that once. C colon, hello world. C colon backslash users backslash Taylor so, backslash documents trailer. This has been a tutorial about how to set up your Python environment and make your first hello world application in Python. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, smash the notification bell, uh, ring it, uh, make sure you get all notifications, because we go live every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern for Taylor's Teardowns. We also have Tutorial Tuesday, where we do tutorials just like this about topics ranging from programming, accessibility, freelancing, just random things in general. So you will want to be here for Tutorial Tuesdays. If you like the content and you want to support what we do, feel free to join us on Patreon where you can get some awesome benefits, including a Discord, as well as being able to get VIP access to the streams. Patreon.com slash Taylor's Tech Talks. All right, everyone, uh, that will do it for today, and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you soon.